Before this video starts, please subscribe to my channel because only less than 1% of viewers are subscribed. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour review of this 2012 Toyota Yaris 1.5e showing exterior, engine and interior. Here's the key fob as you can see. The exterior colour is silver metallic. This one has chrome door handles. Aftermarket black and red leather seats. Baseboard steering wheel which is made out of rubber. There's also perforations on it in the rim. For transmission, the Yaris 2012 second facelift was available with a 5 speed manual or 4 speed automatic. This is a 4 speed automatic. It is aluminium gated. Low gear selection. When select putting it in reverse, there are also rear parking sensors to point. Mechanical handbrake. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Turn on the hazard lights, the headlights, put it on high beam, it's already on high beam. Turn on the front fog lamp. Don't forget to open the fuel flap and roll down the driver's side window. The driver's side window has the automatic function in both directions. For the wheels, this has 15 inch 8 boat alloy rims wrapped in Bridgestone Ecopia EP150 185-60R15 tyres. The headlights, this has halogen reflector headlights. Down below there are front fog lights, which are halogen units. I already mentioned a few times in the past about the success of the Toyota Yaris and the fact it won numerous awards like Semperit Irish Car of the Year, Japanese Car of the Year and European Car of the Year twice. The Toyota Yaris is a subcompact car introduced in 1999 and has seen four generations. It was a replacement for both Toyota models, the Starlet and Tercel. The second generation featured in this video was on sale from 2005 to 2013 where sales started in early 2005, first in Japan. Worldwide sales followed late the same year. Then it received a minor facelift in 2009 with small changes to exterior styling and other changes including the introduction of a new 1.3 letter dual VVTi engine. The Yaris XB90 was sold as the Dahatsu Chowade in Europe and the Lee had I1 in China. Toyota had an important mission to make sure this Yaris stays true to its DNA, includes flexible interior ergonomics, improved refinement for user experience 
and focused on overall quality includes getting the right sound of doors closing on each production unit. The Yaris 690 is based on the Toyota B platform, underpins the Raptis and Urban Cruiser. For body styles, there is a 3-door hatchback, a 5-door hatchback and a 4-door sedan. The Yaris 690 was the first Yaris sold in Indonesia since 2006. It was imported from Thailand at the first ever Indonesian debut. The trim levels were E, S and S Limited. The 2009 facelift saw the introduction of the base J trim and the limited edition TRD Sportivo with a sports body kit and sports suspension. The 2012 facelift saw all trims gain the Vitz RS exterior and the TRD Sportivo is a permanent trim rather than being limited, this time without the sports suspension. The trim levels offered for the Yaris 2012 facelift were J, E, S and TRD Sportivo. Mobile Ini Milik Sadara Saya, Membili Mobile Di Tango October Lalu, Iti Toyota Yaris, Corda XP Sambalan Polu, the segment subcompact hatchback, Adla Mobile Sadahana than the Andal Khan, Iti Bagus on top Mobile Patama, Satu Factor, Yaris but almost a polo da horn, Ponya Nilai Haga Tingi, the Haga Watawata Adala, Sawatas so Dua Sambalan Juta Rupia, Itu Yaris Mamiliki Exterior Yang Cheria, Itu Mamiliki Interior Wang Yang Basa, Dan Gampinyan Penang, the Lapan Blast Letter, Dan Interior Dashboard Yang Kawen. These Sissy Negative Nia, Tida Ada Kua Bahan Basa, and Tawa Tipa J, Dan Tipa Air Untuk Feature. The Toyota Yaris feels comfortable and easy to drive. It is refined at riding over road humps. The automatic gearbox is refined and not clumsy to use compared to manual version. This engine provides adequate and smooth performance. On the downside, there is no real trip computer displaying the range, how much fuel is left as this Yaris comes from the mid 2000s decade. engines, this Yaris was only available with one petrol engine in Indonesia, I'll explain now. Under the bonnet is a one and a half letter, inline four, 16 valve, dual overhead cam, naturally aspirated petrol engine with VVTi, which is short for verbal valve timing with intelligence, and it is equipped with electronic fuel injection. This engine produces 109 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 141 newton meters of torque at 4,200 rpm. This has a 42 liter fuel tank and this Yaris is front wheel drive. The front doors have aftermarket red leather material at the top. The middle and the bottom are, have plastic materials. For electric window controls, the driver's side window is automatic in both directions, up and down. Central locking. Window lock. A thin size door pocket. In front of the steering wheel is storage area with a coin slot. Next to that is the cup holder where a drink can be ventilated. Below that is the mirror controls, front fog light switch. And below that is the small driver storage area. On the bottom of the steering wheel is a bit of storage, front release, automatic transmission to the doors, fuel flat release. The driver's seat has full manual adjustment, recline, seat height and sliding. The steering wheel has manual tilt only adjustment. Adjust it using this lever down there. On the steering wheel, there's no controls on the steering wheel, unfortunately. But on the right door is the light and indicator controls. 
the last door is the intermittent wiper controls centrally mounted up to 12 inch resistor with a small odometer display on the left you use it to adjust the time on the right use it to control the odometer this has manual AC controls on the top is the front speed along with the recirculation in the middle is the two zones on the bottom is the temperature along with the rear defrost on either side of the AC controls is some storage for the audio this has a basic audio head unit this contains an mp3 compatible cd player fm am auxiliary connection and sound is provided by four speakers let's turn it on and test it or audio let's turn it off before we get a copyright the sound quality sounds poor the system is simple to operate six presets fm am seat track and all the other functions on this there's nothing interesting about it so I won't go in depth let's turn it off on top of the audio head unit is the hazard light switch down below the AC controls is a bit of storage along with a power outlet behind the transmission is the auxiliary input there's a bit of storage next to the handbrake and a cup holder which can be shared between the front and rear occupants manual dimming rear view mirror front reading lights a grip handle for the front passenger side driver side sun visor with a vanity mirror and a card holder to summarize this title Yaris's interior this interior has a sporty vibe and all the controls are simple to use there's nothing interesting about the inside of this car these seats don't feel comfortable enough and are hard plastic materials on the dashboard that's what you expect from a car this class and age now let's check, take a look at the rear seats The rear doors have the same materials as the front It has this aftermarket red leather on the top Unique rear window control And a cup holder storage there The rear seats do fall down which I'll show you later For rear seat space I'm a short person I've got a decent amount of leg room And a good amount of headroom tall people six footers would not be happy back in terms of rear seat space because their head will be almost touching the roof front seat back pockets a hook that carries a maximum of four kilograms flat transmission floor rear grip handles the white side is the only side that has the hook rear reading lamp Open up the boot, just push this key slot in. The boot is of a good size. The partial stuff has been removed. A boot light on the left to illuminate the area. Underneath the boot floor, the boot floor is also lockable. There's a spare tire as well as the vehicle toolkit, which I believe that is. I'm not sure. There's some storage area on either side. The rear seats do fold down in one piece, they don't split and this is this aids in cost cutting like they fold down like this yeah. 
I forgot to mention the rear seats do recline on this one but they don't slide. To get sliding rear seats is only available on the S and the TRD body trim of this generation. The front passenger seat has the same adjustment as the driver's side except for the seat height. This has two airbags, cup holder storage which can be ventilated, door glove box setup, one up the top and the other at the bottom. Both of them are of a good size. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video in the future.